to $2,500 for draw and instant games. The General Store on 24 in Lewis. Headlines, headlines you can't get through your day without. Oh, Power 101.7. All right, 638. Good Monday morning to everybody. Good morning. We're live on Facebook right now on our official Power Facebook page. Guess what you got today? Here we go. So President Joe Biden's national security advisor, Jake Sullivan, has warned Russia that there will be catas- catastrophic consequences if it chooses to use nuclear weapons in its desperation to win its war in Ukraine. Sullivan delivered the warning to three television interviews yesterday, saying that he's not going to specify whether the consequences would be military, economic, or diplomatic, but the U.S. officials had spelled them out in talks with Russian officials. Their president there, Vladimir Putin, made the threat in an address late last week. Also, federal and state officials are urging Florida residents to get ready for Tropical Storm Ian, which was intensifying into a hurricane as it approaches western Cuba. A storm watch is in effect for the lower Florida Keys. Ian's current path is expected to take coast the along the west coast of Florida and then, of course, the panhandle in the middle of next week. In Puerto Rico, half of the population there is still in the dark. A week after the hurricane made landfall there, about 20% of people still have no running water. In Canada, Tropical Storm Fiona, according to Tim Houston, the premier of the province, the storm struck the eastern coast late last week. Winds hit there up to 80 miles per hour and 40-foot waves, more than 300,000 people um, in the Canada province providences excuse me were still without electric yesterday so florida residents are being warned to hunker down right now you know we always talk about oh eventually we're gonna move to florida you know we got you ever like talk like that all the time yeah yeah yeah. but then you think about like stuff like this like they're constantly I know. it's all I it's know. like hurricane storm central you know yep. i mean it ain't like it is when you go on to disney vacation all mm-hmm. the time mm-hmm. you know when you live there so, I don't know. That would be just very nerve-wracking. Yeah. So. They were, um, because I have my family here, and they are actually leaving tomorrow, and then the storm is supposed to hit there on Wednesday, so they have no time, really, to prepare for the storm, and they were getting videos sent to them yesterday from Sam's Club. About people waiting in line for gas yes. and all that. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, that's just. It's a, just unbelievable. It's a nuisance, and then, you know, sometimes it get you do all that, and it hits hard. Sometimes it doesn't. Yeah. It's like. Yep. I don't know. Then with Firefly yesterday, there was an update, a weather update. Severe weather is in the area. Please exit the festival grounds and seek shelter in a vehicle immediately. So attendees at the Firefly Festival in Dover Dover were told that they had to leave the fairgrounds and take shelter because of the severe uh, warning with the weather. The message was sent out by the Firefly Festival officials on their Twitter account as well as the Dover police. Sunday was the final day of the four-day run. In Milton, some sad news to report. A Milton man has died after police say that he was struck by a truck while riding his bike near Lewis. According to the Delaware State Police, the crash occurred at 6.40 p.m. on Saturday as a male um, pedestrian was traveling westbound on Fisher Road along the edge of the road, roughly about a mile west of Beaver Dam Road. At the same time, police say that an unknown make and model white truck with a utility body was traveling westbound on Fisher Road, approaching the cyclist and his location. For unknown reasons, the right side of the truck struck the bicyclist and they hit them on the edge of the roadway. The victim was propelled into a grassy area off the road. The truck continued westbound and failed to stop at the scene. The 62-year-old man was from Milton. He did sustain serious injuries and was transported by ambulance to a nearby hospital where he was pronounced dead. His identification is pending notification of next of kin. No other vehicles were involved in this incident. No other injuries were reported. The roadway was closed for about three hours as the crash was being investigated and later cleared. But the driver of the white truck does remain unidentified, according to police. The suspect and their vehicle may possibly be a 2004 to 2008 Ford utility truck, and it should have damage to its right front headlight assembly and the passenger side mirror. Mm. Sad. Crazy. And it's hard to believe, but October is just around the corner, and health officials say that it's the perfect time to get updated on all of your shots. This means the flu shot and your COVID-19 booster. Experts say that by getting both of your shots in October, you can get the most 
out of the amount of protection that you will get as the length of the immunity will line up with the heights of the flu season and it is expected to have some spikes during uh, COVID for the holidays as well. So now is the perfect time to get your flu shot and your COVID-19 booster as well. Okay. 643, it is the Bill and Jessica show. Secret sound. You think you know what it is. Let's go. You're shot to go see Lizzo. You got to be able to go tomorrow night. Capital One Arena, Washington, D.C. What is the secret sound right here? God. 302-858-5117. We didn't get a winner on Friday. We started a little bit after the mm-hmm. top of the hour this morning. Good luck. Mm-hmm. You're Zed. <laughs> 